So in this High on Life DLC video, I'm going to be getting into why Let's Do It was removed in the DLC. So you were curious about that in my previous video on when I explained over why Kenny got removed in the DLC. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just a reminder here in the beginning. It'd be cool if we can get this video to surpass... I don't know, 500 likes or something. That'd be awesome. But yeah, first things first, if you head up to the fridge within the DLC, you will see some postcards here. If you look closely, you can find the dad firing Let's Do It here. Also, over here on this postcard, you can see the mom carrying Let's Do It in her backpack. But there's a little bit more detail about what's going on here. There's some other postcards too that you can find on this fridge. Looks like the mom and dad are out partying. Who knows? The DLC that we may get in the future could involve more of the mom and dad. It would be interesting. But yeah, if we press start here and go over to cards, and once here, if we press right trigger, we can flip the page within this card binder. And this shows a bunch of the postcards that we have gathered. And some of the postcards are about our mom and dad and let's do it as well, and what they've been up to. There's a bunch of lore over this. If we click on the postcards, as you can see, we got some more that we can read about what's going on with them. This is the first one. Postcard, Parents 1. A postcard sent to you by your parents. They look like they're having fun. Hi, honey. Our intergalactic road trip has been amazing so far. We really needed a vacation like this. Your father and I got to see a glurp up close. It's a really beautiful creature. Hope we get some on Earth one day. Love, Mom. You can see the sign at the bottom of the picture. Please do not feed the glurp. Anyways, carrying on here, in the next postcard, if we click A on it, we get a little bit more lore over what the parents have been up to. So, yeah, this one reads, Another postcard sent to you by your parents. They must really love you, huh? Hey, kiddo, we've been having a lot of fun getting a little tipsy and exploring the concept of this new space thing called polycules. That's not normally the type of thing I'd swing for, but I find we've been a lot more open-minded since we started exploring space. Love, Dad. So, uh, it seems like they could possibly be swingers. I don't know what this is signifying, but that's the gist. I got polycules, and not the type of thing I'd usually swing for. A poly relationship? I, I don't know. Seems like the mom was the one wanting to do this, and not the dad. Who knows, though? This is just weird. Something I didn't expect, but that's typical high on life humor for you. Anyways, carrying on here. It seems like they're partying it up. But if we go over to the next page of this card binder, we can find some more lore over what the parents have been up to. Which, by the way, in case you're wondering what these letters read right here on this page, these are just the back of the postcards over the ones that we've already read. Anyways, if we go over to this picture right here, we can see Let's Do It in Mom's backpack. And our dad is up there singing with these famous musicians or something. I don't know. Anyways, this one reads, One more postcard your parents sent you. Wonder if they'll ever show up in game. <laughs> this could be a hint that they could possibly show up in the next High on Life game if we do get a next one. Which, I'll be getting more into that here in the future of this video. There is a hint over another DLC that could be coming. But yeah, this one states here, Sweetheart, guess what? They let your father on stage during a concert. He actually did a wonderful job up there. The whole crowd was cheering. I think space has been a good influence on him. Love, Mom. Now, this next postcard that we're about to read, um, let's just say it surprised me. I did not see this coming. But yeah, let's get into this one. Yet another postcard your parents sent you. I bet you're glad you let them take Let's Do It along on their trip. So yeah, that's confirmation. Let's Do It is with them. So that's where he's at. That's why he is removed from the game currently. He's with our mom and dad. But yeah, it states here, Hey there, kiddo. I'm starting to see the appeal of this blasting aliens with talking guns thing. Let's do it's a pretty fun travel companion. He's even been spending a lot of time keeping your mom company. I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Love, Dad. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? What's going on here, for real? <laughs> Is our mom building some kind of chemistry with Let's Do It? I mean, just think about his name. He always says, Let's Do It. So, you know, when he's talking to our mom and dad, he's always just saying, Let's Do It. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I, it seems like he's making some kind of bond with our mom. A more than friendly bond. I could be wrong, though. But the first postcard was over our mom taking interest in being a swinger, it seemed like, of some kind. And now, next thing you know, the last postcard that we get from our dad 
talks about let's do it keeping our mom company more than usual this is all just bizarre but once again this is typical high on life humor <laughs> but uh, yeah i guess it's pretty cool the developers at least to give a little backstory over where let's do it is and this could be a cliffhanger to the next dlc this could be like hinting over what we could possibly be experiencing in the next dlc which we could be experiencing meeting let's do it again and as well as our parents for the first time in the game the developers didn't have to do all of this they didn't have to explain at all what happened to let's do it but they knew the players would be curious i mean i genuinely was so yeah that's all the extra lore that we have over let's do it and our parents uh, other than that, it's just like special locations that we can visit around in Paroxys that we get. We get these postcards from the tour guide. I don't know what this is, though. I haven't uh, got this one unlocked. Or this one on the final page. Not sure. And I've done everything. Maybe it's like with the extra collectibles. I haven't collected all the extra collectibles. Maybe that has something to do with it. I, I don't know what the, the last things that we can get in the card binder is. But yeah, that's all of the information that I have with why Let's Do It was removed from the game within this DLC. Now let me go ahead and get into how there could possibly be another DLC or another new High on Life game coming out sometime in the future. Now, anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and get into how there could possibly be another High on Life DLC coming out. Um, they actually hint at it within this DLC, the High on Life, which this next DLC could involve our parents. But yeah, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and press start again and go over to inventory. Now I'm gonna go over to mundane. And here I actually found a collectible that talks a little bit about the next DLC. As you can see, on this eight ball here, it says twice as powerful as a four ball. Use extensively in upcoming high on life New Orleans DLC, which I don't know if the developers are being serious about this, but I don't know why they would add this like at all. Why would they? say this <laughs> so this could be a little hint over what's to come in the future as some of you may know there were hints in the original high on life game where kenny talked about uh a new high on life dlc coming and so did knifey he actually questioned his existence over where are the talking knives there's talking guns around but where are the knives as you can see here are those clips over them saying that if you haven't seen these you know today Today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, it's so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye. Oh, thank God! Okay, bounty hunter, you go through the menus, you find that detective mode, you shut it the fuck off! Never again, okay? I'm serious. Delete it, j delete it! And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission, it'll be a whole DLC mission. Every last peso we've ever earned, we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit, you know? A whole DLC story about it that, that we'll charge $45 for, and it'll only be like an hour of content, because fuck you! bitch no i'm just kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding wouldn't do that we wouldn't do that we're not gonna do that hey i've been thinking there's a whole planet full of talking guns but what the fuck am i like do i have my own planet or am i part of theirs why don't i know this i just realized Clark, you didn't foolishly lead an interloper directly to us did you i uh uh ha, ha. i ask only as a formality I already know the disappointing answer. I'm sorry, human, but this is what I thought was best for the cosmos. You just don't under... Now the question is, what do we do with you? You're the bounty hunter Klug manipulated into wiping out the G3, correct? We... Enough. Again, I already know the answer. Well, I'm interested. You're human. I have a very specific interest in humans. Would you mind if I cut you open? and took a look inside. What's going on here? Oh, my apologies. I'm Dr. Gurgula. Maybe you've heard of me. I'm sure your Gatlian friends have. I'm responsible for the plague that wiped out their entire race. Nothing personal, of course. I simply thought that they might be the key to my research. And when they weren't, well, what did it matter to me? What happened to them? You're a monster! I'm a scientist. And I'm going to be the first being in existence to unlock the secrets of the universe. You, human, did you know your species has a very unique brain structure? 
And do you have the slightest inkling as to what it means? No, of course not. Therein lies the irony. Your special little brains hold a million wonderful secrets, and yet you can't even comprehend of them yourself. Much like a jar, unable to fathom its own contents. You'll forgive me for breaking the jar to get at what's inside, won't you? We're not gonna let you get away with this, you fuck! Oh, yes, you are. And I can't allow any amount of my work here to be compromised. I hit the kill switch and wiped all my data the second I detected your presence back here. Good thing I've already gotten what I need. And as for you, well... I heard you already did your part in stopping Gamantuous and the G3. Well done, Bounty Hunter. You humans really do continue to impress me. Please watch your step on the way out. These experiments are very delicate. Jesus fucking Christ, what are, what are we supposed to do with all that? I guess we fucking have to wait for some sort of sequel? Yeah, they literally hinted at DLCs coming. But, uh, yeah, as most of you know, Kenny wasn't involved in this DLC. Which I've already made a video over why he isn't. If you don't know, I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check out why he isn't. But, uh, yeah, basically, uh, to sum it up, he was dropped. But there's a bunch of different, like, references in this that confirm that he was dropped. I, I don't know what they mean. Like, was he, like, completely dropped? Like, because, you know, all the things that happened with him? Or, or is it just part of, like, the lore of the game? He was just dropped and we could possibly find him again in the future. I, I don't know. I don't know what the plans are for the developers if they plan on having him return or not. I don't really have a lot of information over what happened to the sister quite yet. She could possibly be with the parents somewhere or be with Kenny. I, I don't have a lot of info on that quite yet. And who knows, maybe the uh, parents are in New Orleans somewhere in some of these pictures. That'd be pretty cool. I don't I don't know for sure. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this very one. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and you learned something new out of this because I noticed there were a lot of comments over what happened to let's do it and well this is all the information I could come up with so hopefully yeah this helped answer your guys' question. I'm out of here though everyone as always most importantly thanks for taking the time watching and listening. Until next time peace.